This is John Watts. I want to talk to you today about a question we often get, which is, why do debt collectors choose to break the law? Or why do mortgage companies choose to break the law? And certainly there are a variety of reasons. One is just economics. Uh, they, they make a lot more money breaking the law than they do by following it. But you also have to understand that sometimes we cannot fully explain why somebody would break the law. And I wanted to share with you a story I heard a number of years ago. Uh, it's sort of a silly story, but I think it'll be memorable to you. And when you're dealing with an abusive debt collector or you're dealing with a mortgage company that's breaking the law, I hope this story will come to mind and, and uh, maybe remind you that you don't always have to understand why they do it. It's just the way that they are. And so the story goes like this. There's a frog and a scorpion that are trying to get across a river. And of course the, the frog can swim across the river and the scorpion says, hey Mr. Frog, let me climb on your back and you swim us across the river. And the frog says, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. I know if you get on my back, you'll sting me and kill me. And the scorpion says, Mr. Frog, really? I mean, why would I get on your back, swim halfway out in the, the river, and then kill you, I would die also. And the frog thought about it and said, well, that, that makes sense. And so he says, okay, get on my back. And he swims across the, the, the river and halfway across the river, bam, the scorpion stings him on the back. And the frog looks back over his shoulder and says, what are you doing? You just killed me and, and now you're gonna die also. And the scorpion says, that's what scorpions do. They sting frogs. And, and that's a silly story, but it reminds us sometimes people just act in a habitual way. And when we're dealing with abusive debt collection companies and mortgage companies that are willing to make up documents to lie in court and do all the things that these companies are guilty of, and, and, and sometimes we wonder, well, why would they do this? They know they could get sued. Well, first of all, again, they make so much money doing it and they get caught very rarely. Most people won't do anything about it. But second of all, that just has become their nature. Kind of like that scorpion. That's what they do. And remember this, you don't have to explain why an abusive debt collection agency acts the way it does. You don't have to explain why a mortgage company cheats and lies. When you're the victim of that, and when we can prove that, then we can sue them, and we can do everything possible to get you compensation and to encourage these companies not to do this type of wrongful conduct. So if you have any questions or would like to talk about this, and you live in Alabama, feel free to give me a call, 205-879-2447, or go to our website, alabamaconsumer.com, or our main blog, alabamaconsumerlawblog.com. Thank you, and have a great day.